Also for immunizations, we're, uh, to my knowledge, we're the only clinic in the valley where you can actually just walk in. Hi, I'm Bill Mance with Jackson County Close-Up. We're here today with Jackson Bowers. He is the Division Manager at Jackson County Public Health. Today, Jackson's going to shed some light on the role of our public health department, which resources it provides to those in Jackson County, and where it fits in our health care system. Thank you so much for joining us today, Jackson. Thanks for having me. So we appreciate it. So let's just talk a little bit about kind of the entire public health division that you kind of get to watch over a little bit. So yeah. tell us uh, kind of the overview of the department. We have a lot of different programs in public health that are varied. Um, we have a communicable disease program, and that deals with the uh, investigation of any communicable disease in the community that's what we call reportable. That could be something like E. coli, okay. HIV. We also, within that communicable disease program, offer testing and treatment for sexually transmitted infections, cephalus, gonorrhea, things of that nature, and even tuberculosis. We have an immunization program, reproductive health, nurse home visiting program, organ mother's care, women, infants, children, which also has a, a breastfeeding peer counseling program associated with it. Within health promotion, that's, a, that's one of our larger programs. We actually have a tobacco prevention and education, comprehensive sexual health education, alcohol, tobacco, and other drug prevention program problem gambling prevention, and even a syringe exchange program. We have public health emergency preparedness and our environmental public health division, which includes our food pool and lodging program, drinking water, our wood stove and open burning program in environmental public health, and also animal services. Wow, that's a, yeah. lot, to, that's a lot to cover. There are yeah. a lot of services that are provided. Yeah, so how many people do you have kind of in those departments or the, the, that you're overseeing? There's about uh, 50 full-time equivalent employees. Wow, busy folks then. Yeah, absolutely. So Jackson, what services does the Jackson County Public Health Clinic actually provide to the citizens of Jackson County? Well, one, we have a communicable disease services, and that deals with reportable diseases in Oregon, which could include anything from E. coli, uh, salmonella. That program also does a disease outbreak investigations if there's any outbreaks going on in the community. We also have a reproductive health program, which really deals with trying to improve pregnancy outcomes or if people don't want to become pregnant, then providing contraception, birth control, and so forth. Uh, in addition, we have an immunization clinic. So you can get your immunizations, for instance, that may be required for school or influenza, or if you're traveling overseas, we have what you call a traveler's vaccination oh, wow. clinic. Also for immunizations, we're, uh, to my knowledge, we're the only clinic in the valley where you can actually just walk in. Outside of uh, pharmacies, we can walk in. But if someone walks in and needs immunizations, that's how we operate. We don't do appointments. It's on a first-come, first-served basis. Does that include the flu shot? That's correct. It does oh. include the flu shot, wow. yes. Wow, so absolutely. you can get your flu shot here as well. Yes, you can. Who can access the programs here at Jackson County Health? So for the clinic, really anyone can access those services. Okay. So really not, not income-based at all, really just a service to the entire community and the entire population. That's correct. In the reproductive uh, health services, we do have a sliding fee scale, though. Okay. So depending on what your, uh, what your income is, then we can slide that fee so the, uh, the out-of-pocket cost okay. is a lot less.